first quarter? Well, I, I, I think he feels good. I think the last two days having those days off, his legs look fresh and uh, really good first quarter for us. You know, we, we defended pretty well. There were a couple of threes maybe we could have challenged better, but um, all in all, a really good first quarter, but we got a long way to go. Uh, we just got to keep keep uh, defending without fouling. That's the biggest thing. If they get to the foul line, then they can get their defense set up. So uh, we're focused on that and taking care of the ball. Thanks, Coach. Seven points for Josh Richardson. Players are in health and safety protocols right now. The roster for a game. Cassidy, it's been a, a, a wild few days in the NBA. Yeah, you guys talked about five total Celtics and protocols. I'm told the Celtics set up their more elaborate tier one Andrew, testing area yeah. again in their practice discuss using the hardship waiver to add players yet. He did point out that they have been used to this, you know, this year having guys in and out of the lineup. The Warriors found out yesterday that Jordan Poole had to enter protocols and Kerr admitted they, but as they finish up their road trip in Toronto tomorrow night, I asked Steve Kerr if they're worried about crossing the border since they have stricter protocols mandating anyone who tests positive vaccinated or not. Reported yesterday, the NBA and NBA PA have agreed to new COVID-19 protocols and increased testing that start December 26, including all players and staff being tested on game. Like Isaiah Thomas, who goes to the G League, you know, gets elected to the league. Right, there's going to be a big part. And Andre gets another strip. And he gets Tara able to gather it after the fun. Elitsa leading the break. The Elitsa all the way in on the follow, gets it to go. And a timeout taken out of that quarter or that timeout. They were up 12 on the glass and particularly Golden State hurting them on the offensive glass. Wiggins hits the jumper 15. Colleague Mark Jackson called him the greatest backcourt in the history of the game. Like, I'm just happy for him. And I think I'll tell you something else Draymond said that I found really intriguing. He said it would be unfair to expect from Clay that he would go right back to what he was. He said, but he said, we do not, and I don't remember the percentage, he said, we do not need Clay at that level in order to do what we're and actually, Doris asked Draymond, was his anticipation for Clay's return building? And he said, no. I'm he should. <laughs> I think he's going to be quite motivated. How about Wiggins? Wiggins. He's killing him. 15 in the quarter. Now, Chio. About motor and level and attentiveness and being engaged. I'll tell you this, you're not seeing any of it. We were talking about his playmaking. That shows you it's not instinctual to him yet, that last play in transition. Smart box it up and Williams got a pie to put it down. And Steve Kerr will take a timeout. Golden State. 18-point lead. A highlight here though for Boston. You know, the Time Lord making no time at the cup. Good pass by Marcus. Three PM Eastern. Really looking forward to that. As Kuminga finishes on a perfectly placed fade in the corner of the end zone from Draymond Green. It's six assists, and these are all the things Draymond does. In addition to being the anchor, the driving force of the best defense in the league, those passes that he makes to different players, something he always finds his way to the action when his team is struggling. Well, it was smart earlier in the season who called out his teammates talked about our every scouting report says hey make Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown into passers and they don't want to pass and ended up prompting a players only meeting but in the aftermath of that the defense in particular really picked up Celtics started to find their footing and then went one and four on their recent road trip and slipped back Coming off a win against Milwaukee, though, which coincided with Jalen Brown's return. Curry, like a ballerina, out to Wiggins, out of three. 24 for Andrew Wiggins and a gorgeous setup from Curry. Richardson kicks. Brown. Back to Richardson. 
He has another. Oh, oh, their their threes have been a bit hard of them trying to stay attached, Ryan. Nine for 20 now from three, or make it eight for 19. Draymond Green, air balls the three. Draws the derisive cheers of the crowd. And then Tatum nearly lost it out of bounds. Tatum step back. He is good. Now they hit nine first half threes. It's the difference maker in the league so often, isn't it, Ryan? You think the game is out of reach, you make a few threes, and you're right back in. Curry can't hit that one. Out of bounds off of Wiggins. Boston basketball on an 11-3 run. And if you want to see a patented Jason Tatum move, his footwork is exquisite, folks. The step back, very reminiscent of sort of the pitter-pat feet you see from James Harden. Footwork is an underrated part of getting separation. Yes, you've got to have physical strength, but your footwork has got to be efficient and on point. You mentioned it, Doris, the three ball keeping Boston in it, trying to end this quarter on a little run. Tatum lost his footing. Richardson kicks, smart. Steps in, kicks out. Three to shoot, smart. Will, long two, no. And the rebound to Curry. Golden State a plus nine on the glass. Wiggins, not that time. 